This is so wonderful because um, you get to this point where you're doing a question and you've never seen it before, so you're like, huh, is this how you do it? And you have to think to convince yourself, yes, no, this is definitely the right approach. <laughs> I can convince myself that I've gone about this the right way. Now again, it's very intimidating just when you look at it, okay? So just take it on and see if you can work it down to science. The first thing I'm gonna do is look at that bit in the middle, this bit here, okay? So I'm going to consider just that guy. Now by the way, can I just make a little pointer here? Um, there's no reason why, I mean you can, but there's no reason why you have to write books, all three parts of this inequality, all like every single time for, for all of your working. There's no reason why you, don't have to, but I'm just going to work on this thing for a little while, and then I'm going to replace what I get here inside there. Okay, so I'm going to consider whatever that expression is, two minus three nine. Yeah. So I'm going to work with this thing, see what I can do with it. Okay. Now I've said one of the most useful things you can do. The whole reason we explored rectangular and polar form is because each has its own use. I'm going to rewrite in x plus i y form, and it's going to look like this. Okay, that's what it looks like. Now, this is just arithmetic. It's just arithmetic. I want to expand this so that I can see which parts are real and which parts are not. Okay? So you can, in fact, see, if you have a look at this, right? I don't even need to write the whole expansion out, do I? Right? You've got a binomial times another binomial, right? But exactly half of the terms you get out of these four are going to be real. Do you agree with that? Look. This two here, right? If, I want the, if I'm only interested in the real part, then I'm only interested in the two and the x, the two real bits together, right? This real part and this imaginary part, they're going to be no use to me. Does that make sense? In the same way, when you combine two imaginary numbers and multiply those, wrong color, what happens to the eyes? They become real, right? They become real. So in, in other words, they, they kind of cancel out. Uh, maybe cancel out, even though I sometimes say that. Maybe not the best phrase, because in fact, they do leave something, don't they? They leave negative one, right? So those two other bits I'm also interested in. So I'm just going to go straight to those, right? Uh, 2x, that's going to be real. And what else do I get? Plus 3y, don't I? Right? Because those i's are going to change the sign. That's it, right? So therefore, the, the region I'm really interested in is this. Now some of you are needing to flex your two unit you know, and extension one brains because that's the part that confuses you, right? So what does this look like? If I were to ask you to graph this, what does that look like? Okay. Well, this means you're to the right of negative two and you're to the left of three and then there's some stuff you have to work out with the boundaries. Okay? In other words, what I mean is I want x to be greater than negative two and simultaneously, I want x to be less than or equal to 3. If I can do each of those independently, then I just want both of them, right? So, what does this thing look like? What is this thing like? Well, one side, 6 less than 2x plus 3y. Do you remember, there's a trick I taught you for graphing straight lines really quickly. I can put this into two intercept form, right? So I'm going to divide everything by 6. That'll leave me with 1 over here. What's this going to be? X on 3 and Y on 2. Okay, so I've got my X and Y intercepts and then I've got one is less than that. So I'm just going to work out which side I'm on. Okay. Then I say and, and as well as that, I've got to have this bit. Right, does this make sense? So again, going to put it into two intercept form. Divide through by 12, which leaves me with X on and Y on. Awesome. Right? Now, just cut to the chase. What is this thing going to look like? When you draw these two lines, uh, here's this one, 3 and 2. So, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. There you go. There's that line. Um, you notice I've drawn it solid, okay, because that's going to be part of the inequality. This line over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. One, two, three, four. This one's going to be dotted. Right? Now, you should be able to work out, I'm actually going, am I going to be in the outsides or the insides, or where am I going to be? Inside. I'm going to be in the middle. I'm going to be in the middle, this region here. Okay. Now, let me just add one more thing to this. Suppose I said, 
I want more than this. I also want you to satisfy this. Maybe you want to jot this down. Uh, that. Okay. So this is like my base region. This is my base region. And now I'm going to restrict it a little bit. Hmm. What would this mean? Okay, there's going to be a restriction on quadrants, right? Here's one way you can think about it. Um, the real part is just x. The imaginary part is just y. Right? So what you want is your x and y's, when they are multiplied together, they're positive. Okay? Now there's an easy way to get that. If x and y are both positive, that's cool. That's the first quadrant up here, isn't it? There's another way you can do it though, right? If they're both negative, you'll still get a positive product. But as you can see, that's irrelevant to this particular question because no part of the region is in there anyway. Okay. So how would I then restrict this a bit further? What would it look like? Yeah, I'm going to like wipe yeah. out this part over here, aren't I? Right? Have a look carefully. What kind of boundaries am I going to have? Are they going to be dotted or not dotted? Not dotted. They're going to be not dotted. They're going to be solid, aren't they? So I've got a, uh, let's go the right color. This guy is going to be solid here, but be careful. Solid. Open. Right. Open and close. Do you see why? Because this whole dotted line is not part of the region. Okay. And then same thing down here. Solid. And then open. Oh, it's a Make sense? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. 